2017. What a year. Where should I even start? 2017 for me has been one of the best years of my life. I experienced one of life's biggest milestones. I took the plunge and I decided to get married to one of my biggest supporters in anything I set my mind to. I married my best friend. I know that not many of you know my husband's name or face. Instead, you know him as T. <laughs> Please be patient with him. Maybe one day he will show himself on this channel, but for now, he is just content with having me be the front runner of the show and shine. T and I definitely danced to the beat of our own drum. We took a more modern route and decided to forego the whole wedding thing and some people can't understand why. And you know what? That's okay. We do. This year, I feel like I grew my friend circle and it's the biggest it has ever been in my life. I learned that this year, it can be hard to juggle everything from work, hobby, marriage, and friends, but I think I made it work, somewhat. I got to meet some really amazing people in the YouTube community that I've become genuine friends with. They not only understand the blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a YouTube video, they also help drive me to make content and better myself as a creator. I don't know how many of them I blab their ears off talking to about random stuff because we all know I'm a talker, but if you're listening, thank you. I was able to meet Ariana many times this year. She helps me maintain my sanity in so many aspects and is also another big supporter of my life here on YouTube. She's such a loyal friend and I really couldn't ask anything more from her. I really, really, really look forward to 2018 and her living up here, closer to me. This is almost five years in the making, people. In 2018, I hope to show you more of our friendship through my videos. She is literally my light. So this year in 2017, I went back home to Canada in the summer for the first time in three years. Those were some of the best three weeks of my life. I was able to visit over 10 cities by airplane and or car, meet my childhood best friends, and meet with my East Coast side of the family. My mom was such a trooper on this trip. We did many road trips around the west coast of Canada since it was my first time there. It's funny how much our opinions change as we get older. When I was younger, I didn't want to accept that I was just like my mom, but now I can proudly say that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I realize this more and more with every passing year. Towards the end of 2017, I started to question my body and weight, and I guess I kind of became more interested in maintaining my health and fitness. Not necessarily to lose weight, but to be healthier overall. Body, and most importantly, my mind. I think climbing Mount Fuji was the point that I said to myself, get yourself together and be active again. Mount Fuji was challenging, not only because it was storming during our climb, but because I physically wasn't ready for it. In 2018, I will make Mount Fuji mine. 2017 marked me living abroad for five years. In those five years, I have made a home and life for myself here in Japan. As for my channel in 2017, I explored many different places, tried new kinds of videos, and really tried to open up myself to you guys. I want you to feel like you're listening to a friend blab about their life, not just some stranger who talks to a camera and stares at their face for long periods of time while editing. I feel like I have just chipped the iceberg of this whole YouTube thing and I can't wait to explore more in 2018 with you. 2018 is off to a little bit of a rocky start, but... <gasps> Who does that? Actually, we can't rent that car to you. That means we can only go up from here. Thanks so much for supporting me and stay tuned for more. Goodbye, 2017.